Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to the latest Pick a Card reading. Today's Pick a Card reading is very simple. We're just going to look at what's new in your world. I haven't done one of these for a little while and and I'm back. I've got energy. I can do this. It's all good. I've got my Mac here, you can see. And those of you who have been observing the stage, you'll notice that the wood grain is going in a diagonal direction. I um, whoops. I had to just change things. I just had to shake it up a little bit. And this is actually a lot easier because now I can see the screen. So this is way more comfortable for me. So I'm glad I took a little bit of a break from this. I'll come back refreshed. Hopefully these are going to be better. You know, this, this series of pick a card. Hopefully I can keep doing them regularly uh, or as regularly as I can. And I'm also going to do it, it's just going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, you know, I won't make them so long because what I was noticing in the last series that I did was that each time I would do one, I would talk for longer and longer and longer and longer. And so, yeah, I guess I just needed to stop, take a break, change things and, um, you know, start again, start fresh. And I'll hopefully keep the, the reading sizes a bit smaller uh, so that, you know, um, I can make these a bit more often. Okay, so as usual, pick your group. So you've got either a choice of pile one, pile two, or pile three. And we'll do a little check in on your energy. We'll see how you're doing. These shouldn't be too long this time. So I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group one. If you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look at your cards. Okay, so you have got the nine of cups upright. How beautiful. You've got the page of pentacles in reverse. You've got the ace of cups in reverse. You have got goddess Kali. How fantastic. You know when she turns up there's going to be some, some action going on, <laughs> right? Uh, we've got Buddha, fantastic as well. Love the energies that you've drawn through. And with my own hand-drawn cards, I, I didn't have a theme. I just thought I'm going to put them all together. I'm throwing all of my own cards together and I'm just going to shuffle them. So this is the one that came for you. Mahapurusha Hamsa Yoga. This is a beautiful, beautiful yoga. And actually, I was working on a lovely gentleman's chart this week, and he had one of these. I do not see them often. Do not see them often. Okay, so I'm going to put that up here with this Nine of Cups card, because really, I think this is what's new on your scene and what you, what you want, what you want to have come through. I feel like you want to have a, a sort of um, emotional independence, but not in a not in an isolated way. It, it's really interesting. I think you want to create either a beautiful community or a beautiful home life, or you want to expand a current community or expand your home life. There's some expansion that you want, and there are emotional riches here. That's what you really want. You want to feel fantastic. You want to feel fulfilled and that, yeah, and there is a fullness. There's, there's a, you want to achieve and experience the feeling of fullness, emotional fullness. And it's that feeling that you want that like, you know, I wake up feeling healthy. I wake up feeling full of energy. I wake up feeling fantastic. And it doesn't have anything to do necessarily with anyone else, right? Um, you want that sort of independent emotional riches and you want to share it with lots of people right with lots of people expand your home life you know maybe that could mean getting some pets or something you know I don't know but like or expanding your social circle or there's something about expansion you do want expansion it's an emotional expansion that you want and that is new on your scene that is coming in 
right? These are lovely energies, what's coming in here. And it's going to be, it's not going to be any codependent or any kind of, you know, you're feeling tired or stuck or none of that. Um, what's coming in is, is just, it's, it's freedom, but it's emotional joy and fulfillment. And you sharing that with lots of people. Really, really nice. So that's what's new on your scene. What's blocking you, it would appear, okay, and these blocks are not major, but they are in there. I would say memories of past, past failed relationships, right? There's some clearing out that needs to be done there. The clearing out, okay, it, it's both of these that have come in to, to speak about clearing out. Um, so the clearing out you have to do is both emotional and it is to do with some of your beliefs about money. Okay, so there's, these are indicating to me that there are some slight or small emotional blockages that are preventing this from manifesting in its full, from coming in in its full, which it wants to, and it is, but, and it's, you've manifested it, but it's just some minor blockages. So definitely around the area of yeah, your heart, your love life, Perhaps there are some failed relationships or things that didn't work out that you're feeling a bit bad about. Um, could it be that, you know, and, and could it be that there's some ego there, right? And also, where is the ego to do with monetary wealth? That's also something to look at as well. Um, it feels like there are some there are some blockages when it comes to making money and, and possibly to expanding. They, they, you might be experiencing some slight blockages when it comes to even expansion, sure. And, and it could be to do with earning more money or charging your worth or feeling good enough. There's some of that here and what these two have come in to say is to say it's time that you, well, she's here to say destroy it, right? She's here to say tear that down, get rid of that. You don't need that anymore. Buddha is here to say the same thing. And that's what's really interesting that these two have come in together because I was watching a video that my auntie sent me and it's a really brilliant video about the golden Buddha. And apparently there was this Buddha that was uh, in Thailand and he was covered in clay. And anyway, this monk ended up chipping into it. And when he chipped it all away, like it was a disguise. It was actually a disguise to keep him safe because it was a 24 karat gold, solid gold Buddha inside. And the moral or the message that was really being given by that story was that for each one of us, it's our ego that is like the clay encasing around us. And then actually if you chip away and you destroy that ego, right? If you, if you chip it all away, what we all are inside is pure gold. And in this story, they were saying that the clay on the outside of us, that shell, is actually our fears, our doubts, our worries. It's our insecurities. We think we're not good enough, right? We think we're not good enough to charge proper money for what we do, even though we know that we're good at what we do and, you know, but we, we still feel, we feel insecure, right? Uh, so that, that could be one of the things that you need to chip away. What about love? What, what could be the outer casing, that clay encasing that is covering the golden Buddha that needs to be destroyed? What is that in relation to love? Hmm. I'm going to say past relationships that didn't work out. If, say for example, you're feeling rejected by someone from the past, there's that. Um, perhaps you've been ghosted, you know, that, that's happening a lot in our world today, isn't it? 
What are the past hurts that you're carrying from a past relationship, perhaps, you know, perhaps someone, we don't even have to go as far as cheating or betrayal. Those things are horrible and if any of that has happened, obviously, um, you know, that needs to be let go. But I'm, I'm kind of talking about small things that need to be let go, nothing, not, nothing big like that. Something big like that might need proper work. Right? You really have to work through complex emotions and, and there can be quite a lot of stuff that's not an overnight job. Right, but w the stuff that I'm gathering that you need to chip away at or release in regards to ego, I feel like it's small stuff. I feel like it's, you were ghosted. Or I feel like it's, um, you know, small harmless things. There's nothing major here. It doesn't feel like too much. And it feels like just that little bit of work, just that little bit of soul work, it's not major. You work with Kali, the goddess of destruction. You work with Buddha, finding, chipping away that clay exterior that's covering that golden Buddha that's inside of you. And you're really going to transform your life, you know, it's happening, it's happening. And this is the other thing, don't feel like it's an ego trap. That is an ego trap to think that the work is huge. Okay, to think that, oh my God, I'm going to need like several months or years in therapy or this or that. No, that's a trap. That's an ego trap as well. To think that spiritual work is hard, to think that spiritual work is very time consuming or very difficult. It's actually really easy. You just got to do it and you just got to believe and you got to trust, you know, and you got to trust that this has manifested. Not that it's coming, that it's here now. Okay, that is what you got to do. Trust that this is here now. This is not some far away distant dream. No, it's right here, right now. You've got it. You've got that dream life that you want. And just keep acting as if it's on, it's happening, right? Uh, you know, you might be living in a small room, but on the internet, you're checking out big houses. You know, and look at that. We've got Jupiter here in the fourth house of home, right? And I do this quite a bit. <laughs> I'm always on like rightmove.co.uk and looking at, you know, oh, I'd love to live there. Oh, look at that house. Oh, look at this, look at that. I do that all the time. And in my mind, I'm living somewhere beautiful right now, you know? So that is my guidance for you this time. I'm gonna keep it short, guys. But group one, I hope you've enjoyed this little mini check-in reading where we have a look at what's new. It's fantastic what's new for you. Work with Goddess Kali, ask for her support and help and chip away at the old stuff to find that golden Buddha within you. And you will definitely find it. All right, well, till next time, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please do leave me a comment. I love to hear how these go for you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group two. If you chose group number two, you are in the right place. Let's take a look at your cards. Okay, well, to start things off, we've got seven of cups upright. Beautiful start, especially when it comes to what's new. Oh, look at this. You've got the ace of pentacles. I love this card. Look at the bling, the bling bling going on here. How cool is that? I love cardboard with gold foiling on it. It just makes my day. I don't know why. Shiny things. I've, I've got a simple mind, people. <laughs> I like shiny things. I really do. Uh, okay, what have we got here? Fool in reverse. Got the Ace of Wands in reverse. And for your Oracle cards, let's move those there. You have got Sahasrara. Can you see that? There we go. How beautiful. Seventh chakra, guys. Seventh chakra. And we have got Svadishtana. Svadishtana. 
another beautiful card second chakra so you've got two chakra cards coming through right group one had true two gods you've got two chakra cards and we've got venus in the first house okay what is new in your world this is amazing you have got so much creative energy on the table and I don't know if you can hear there's a little kid screaming in the background. He's being really cute and having a bit of a scream out there. I think he's playing with someone. His motorbike. Okay, interesting, interesting. Let's take it all. Let's take the sounds that are coming through. You have got, look at this, you've got so many creative options in front of you. It wouldn't surprise me if you are thoroughly overwhelmed. I feel like you realize that there is so much you can do there is so much you can create there is so much out there for you and i think i feel like you might be a little bit overwhelmed by that actually because we've got these in reverse now this fall in reverse is kind of indicating to me that there is a new start that you want to make but I, I don't know if you're afraid to take it. I actually, when I tuned into this earlier, I had a brief look at these just before beginning the recording and what I thought was procrastination. I feel like you might be procrastinating. I feel like there's a new start. There's something new that you have to start or and you know you have to start it and you know it's a new idea, okay? It's absolutely ideas because we've got seventh chakra. Okay, the angels are tapping on your head, right? And they're giving you ideas. You are getting ideas come through. You're getting downloads. You might be getting them in your sleep. Okay, that's very possible. But you have got a lot of new ideas coming through. Either the issue, what you've got going on is that it's, it's either overwhelming and you don't know where to start. Okay, you don't know... Okay, well, which one do I choose? Or which direction do I proceed in? So that it might be that there's too much going on, okay? Uh, or it might be, it might be that you're procrastinating, okay? And watching the tarot, ooh, it's a very loud motorbike. Okay, so I don't know, maybe somebody here needs to go on a motorbike ride. I don't know, um, or maybe someone needs. To change the scenery hmm do you need to go somewhere you know we've got a second chakra here and this is why it's creativity it's like you are meant to birth something you are meant to bring something to this earth and it's I think it's something I think it's something physical it could be a physical product it could be and it's got something to do with feminine energy Maybe you're a light worker and you're healing the collective. Uh, you know, and, and you're really genuinely working with, with feminine energy. But it could be, I mean, it could be products that you're trying to bring to market or, or bring to people. Some physical thing that you, you're trying to birth. And it's, it's got to have style, okay? It's got to be beautiful and it's got to have style. It's got to have some Venusian touch, right? Some quality of style and beauty. So they're immensely creative energy, immensely. Like there's just so much creativity here. And you're going to make money from it. You're not just going to make a little bit of money from it. I mean, you, you're really going to make some money here. So, and that's upright, okay? These are upright. All these creative opportunities and the money, this is upright. But I feel like, and it's not major because these are fantastic. So these are also indicating to me that, you know, the angels, the guides, the divine, it's working with you. It's working, it's, it's delivering the downloads to your seventh chakra and it wants you to birth them. It wants you to bring it down through your chakra system and birth it through your second, okay? So you've got to think about all the things you've got to do. I mean, the ideas are coming in at the top here, right? So you've got to, hang on, let's get her in focus, there we go. You've got to capture those ideas that come in. You've got to have a vision, sixth chakra, right? You've got to see 
and, and have that vision, you've got to talk about it, right? My dad used to say, uh, what did you, he was so brilliant at giving me advice. He would say, like when I was computer programming and I was coming up with programs and this and that, and he would say, look, I don't understand computer programming, but just talk me through your idea. And he said, in the talking through of it, it will become clear or your problems will become clear. And he, he would say to me, just talk to the walls. Talk to the walls, or if I'm here, you can talk to me. And he's like, I don't understand computer programming, but you can talk to me, right? It was such great advice. And I was remembering that the other day. And I was remembering thinking how I love making these videos, because I feel like I'm, well, I'm not just talking to the walls, I am talking to people. So, you know, it feels more productive. But yes, yeah, so you gotta, you gotta, speak about it or we haven't gone down through the system so you got to speak about it so talk to the walls if you've got nobody to talk through your ideas or go on a long walk and just pretend like you're giving a lecture to a bunch of people explaining your idea or whatever it is and things will become clear solutions will happen during that speaking out process now it, your heart your heart has to be on board okay so we're taking the journey from the seventh to the second you gotta have a vision you got to speak it out, right? Teach it. And it, you, when you teach it, you make it real, okay? Um, your heart has to be on board. You've got to be passionate about this thing, whatever it is, right? And the passion will bring the money, okay? You have to find that opportunity, that creative thing. There's a lot in front of you. I feel like there's so many scattered energies. It's very exciting. There's a lot going on. But I think you're, like, you're, you're afraid to make a new start because you're like, which one do I pick? And yeah, and a bit procrastinating, a bit kind of going, you know, not now, maybe. We'll get to this. Let's keep going here. Your heart has to be on board. And when you've got your heart on board, the third chakra, that, that heart energy is going to help the third chakra because then you're going to be able to stand up to opponents. Okay, that journey, birthing an idea from the seventh to the second is not easy. You're going to have to use all your chakras, okay? You're going to have to use every single one of them. Um, you're going to have to stand up to people as well. You might have some opposition right there might be some opposition that comes through but don't worry about that don't worry at all about that enjoy enjoy this enjoy um, the ideas coming through and this thing of making it happen birthing it into the real world into the into physical reality you'll be guided i'm also getting a message through that yeah you'll definitely be guided you'll be shown because I do think that the journey feels a bit, oh gosh, you know, I have to make a new start and new starts can be difficult. And this advice I really love from Jordan Peterson, he says to his PhD students, just start. He said, stop procrastinating, stop messing about, stop, you know, and just start. And he said, and write a first draft and do it badly. And that is the best advice. I love that advice. Do it badly, right? Starting is the hardest part. Just have a go. Just do a draft. Just get a blank piece of paper and do some kind of scribble. Just make the start. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be good. You know, it can be bad. Make a start and you will turn these cards upright and you'll get going. You will be unstoppable, okay? Uh, it's amazing there's amazing new energy here for you and I'm really excited and I'm really excited about the abundance that's going to come through it might come through it might take time okay uh, I'm not getting a feel on how quickly this is going to happen because remember we sat in Capricorn right things are things are a little bit challenging out there when it comes to money but um, but know that it's, it's been clocked up, okay? So if it's not coming through now, it's accumulating. It's, it's, it's accumulating and you will be able to bring it through. And look at that, we've got another motorbike. Mm, he's kind of slow. Ooh, now he's going really fast. Oh, and a friend joined. Okay. Hmm. 
Because I was just talking about the money thing, and that that is there's a slowness, and I was saying that it's it's accumulating. See, he's still going down the road right now. He's building up speed because when he hits the main road, he's going to absolutely tear down that thing. And I, because this is a suburban street, like he would be crazy to go fast here. But that is interesting because we're talking about the money, and he turned up. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be a slow burn, but the money's being accumulated, and you'll be able to draw it down soon. Uh, but you have to be creative, okay? And you need physical output. You need stuff out into the world. You need to stop procrastinating. But you can watch tarot videos. They're not procrastination. That is what I've told myself because that's my one guilty pleasure. And, you know, um, I've heard that good ideas come to a rested mind. And procrastination is actually you trying to rest your mind, okay? So... Don't worry if you procrastinate a little bit. All right, well, we're at the video now, so no excuses. You've got to crack on and, and do, your, do your magic, do your creativity. All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please do leave a comment if you feel so inspired. I'd love to hear from you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, you are in the right place. Is it me, or is it starting to get a bit dark? I'm looking at the camera screen. It's not too bad. I think we'll be okay. It's kind of evening time here and yeah, the sun has dipped. Oh, isn't that fascinating? Oh, that is interesting because the sun has disappeared. Look at that. <laughs> All right, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a moment. What a start. Okay, I forgot what we had here. We've got the four of pentacles in reverse. Got quite a few cars. I think people are coming home. It's kind of late in the evening. Not a great time to be recording this, but that's okay. So if you can hear cars in the background, I apologize. It was quite distracting actually in um, group two. Oh God, there's another motorbike. What is going on? Two of them, again. And what are we dealing with here? The page of rods. Yeah, those are kind of page of rods kind of guys out there, I'm telling you. Okay, well. Hmm, that's interesting energy to start a reading. Um, page of Swords, You've got two pages. It's a really, really interesting spread here. Yes, I do love this spread. All right, we've got Krishna. Look at that, you've got a god turning up. God wants to be here. And of all the gods, you've got the coolest, the most hip and happening, the most fun, the one with the most girlfriends. Check him out, here he is, it's Krishna. The one that all the girls want to be with, of course, in the moonlight, with the flute music in the background, by the river. Who doesn't want to be there? I want to be there. And we have Bhakti. Again, how beautiful. I'm loving the energy of this one. It's kind of, it's really interesting. Uh, okay, now, um, sun in the seventh house. Look at that, the sun has set everybody it has set outside and I turned a lamp on and it wasn't looking too good so I might you know when I'm creating this I might have to tamper with the um, levels to brighten this up but uh, it's looking okay all right so what do we have we have you know what's new in your world what's new on your scene I think you want I think you want more out of life and I think I think you're bored with the material world and I think you're going to deepen your connection with the divine. Uh, I think you're going to start letting go of some old ways of living, of the old world order. I think you really want to let it go. I think you've had enough and I think this material world and the way that we've been living, it doesn't interest you anymore. <clears throat> I get a kind of feeling that, I get a feeling that this is, um, I don't know how many of these kind of people turn up to these readings, but it's sort of, I'm visualizing, I'm getting a visual of someone who's like a bit of a corporate warrior or someone who has been in companies for a really long time 
and he's probably made it you know probably done really well or something I'm getting that vibe now this might not be you um, but see where this applies or maybe this is someone you know I'm not sure or someone you're working with you as a light worker might be attracting these kind of clients right these kind of men who are I'm getting the word stalwart so like people are at the top of corporations or that kind of thing and they're tired of it I don't want to do it anymore or they're just like they're like there's something there's more to life I know that there's more to life there's this massive I know that there's more to life energy in this spread this is either you or and look at that we've got a plane above I don't know if you can hear that yeah there's a real corporate feel to the energy here I have to look up the meaning of the word stalwart I do know it but like yeah it's just anyway um, You want to devote yourself now to something bigger, something bigger than you. And what's bigger than you? I would say it's all of humanity. I'd say it's other people. Okay. Um, it's all is one. It's it's it's. You want to deepen. You want to deepen the knowing that all is one. You want to really understand what that word one means. One, the all, the universe, love, truth, light. Now in my world, all those words are pretty much interchangeable. Is that the case for you in your world, right? Are all those words interchangeable in your world? Or are you just starting to touch each one? You know, and, and this is really interesting. This is either you or it's very much, I feel like I feel like this is a light worker who's going to be working with these kind of clients. Okay, so because I know that there are some very advanced spiritual people who are coming here. And of course, for you, all of, you know all of those words are interchangeable, right? But there are people out there who think that they're all very different words and that they're all separate. So... This is, this is an energy of um, wanting, wanting to deepen your connection with the divine. And you're at a new level of doing that. Okay, you're, you've come to a new level of deepening that connection. Because these two are indicating a new, the newness. And... This is also very much the energy of you might have been at the top of your game at something else, but you are entering a world where you're going to be a baby. But you've mastered something. It doesn't matter what age you are. It's had nothing to do with age, but like there's something about mastery and there's something you're stepping into where you're going to be a baby. Okay? Where you're going to be beginning and you're going to be starting. And we all do this at every age. At every age, we are the master of something and we are a baby at something. No matter what age you are, you could be 20, you could be 40, you could be 60, you could be 80. It doesn't matter. Karl Lagerfeld was always, you know, he, I mean, look at him, he, was, he looked like an emperor, right? If we've got the emperor card, oh, where, where, where's the emperor card? I should see if I can find it. Do we have time? Why not? I'll find, I'll find the emperor card in this, um, in this tarot deck, see if I can find it, because we're talking about Karl, and he's fantastic. And now, Karl Lagerfeld is a classic sort of emperor type dude, right? Um, let's have a look. And when he was in his 80s, boy, had he mastered some things. But when it came to, you know, uh, technology, he was a baby, right? He'd pick up an iPad when the iPad first came out, and he was like, what's this? Okay, I better get into it. You know, and even though he's an old man and he's an expert at so many things, he's picking up a new piece of technology and he is... Oh, where is the emperor? God, it just has to be at the end of the deck, doesn't it? There's the empress. Okay, where's our emperor here? Oh, well, there's the emperor. Who looks very young in this deck. <laughs> So I've picked the wrong deck, haven't I? How annoying. But picture a really old man. I'm not even using this deck in this reading. Let me find... I want to find an emperor. Oh, it doesn't matter. 
but there it is but I mean you get the idea like there is there is emperor energy here okay and there is something that you've absolutely absolutely mastered and come to the top of but there is something where you're, you're going to be a baby again and it might be to do with deepening your connection with the divine okay it might be to do with deepening your connection with all of humanity as well with your public okay i know humanity can really be read from the 11th house here but i'm reading it from the 7th this is your public this is people this is this is the marketplace uh, and maybe you're going to be creating or inventing something new to give to the marketplace okay there's that possibility as well um, there's a lot here but but it's very nice it's very very nice energy and and it's youthful that's another thing it's youthful it's like and that's that's why I, I would love if there's someone who's quite a bit older who's listening to this one because um, for me there's no such thing as age All right, I don't I don't have that concept someone who's at 80 you know like Karl Lagerfeld is a great example because he was so youthful and so young and there is this thing of um, yeah and innocence youthfulness and innocence this is lovely energy here I'm loving this reading guys I really there's such sweetness and such there's innocence here Oh, I could go on, but you know we've we've uh, we've reached a ten minute mark, and I'm trying to keep these readings a little bit shorter. This this is gorgeous, though. This is this is really really lovely energy. So whoever this was meant for, I hope it's been a good reading. Please let me know in the comments below how you get on, and I look forward to seeing you next time.